welcome to this video this is lecture number 13 already lecture 1 to 12 are <coughs> covered which are consist uh, from the sub, uh, of the supplementary problem of the vector vector analysis by inverse by gel book okay and this video consists the supplementary problem 2.93 to 2.97 of the chapter 2 which is dot and cross product okay this book is very essential book that's why we decide to solve the supplementary problem of this book already 12 lecture has covered in the previous supplementary problem if you don't if you want you can see in the description box the link will be provided okay in the video we <coughs> go to the problem 2.93 which says that uh, a vector b vector c vector has given proof that this is this uh, this is to that okay so at first you can <coughs> find b cos c what is the b cos c b cos c is <coughs> nothing but b cos c is nothing but because c is nothing but uh, 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 a vector b vector c vector and b is the x2 y2 z2 and this is the c is the x3 y3 z3 okay and <coughs> this can be written as a vector that into y2 z3 minus y3 z2 minus v vector that into x2 z3 minus z2 x3 plus c vector that into x2 y3 minus x3 y2 right so now <coughs> you can find out the uh, a dot b cross c so if you <coughs> a, a dot b cross c you know the a dot a is <coughs> a square mm -hmm okay so uh, there is a problem no 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 this is a hold for the unit vector process no 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 this can be this is not right sorry sorry this is not right process you <coughs> you must to go through the product method simply cross product method you must to go through the simply cross product method thought that's mean just put the value of b which is x2 a vector plus y2 b vector plus j3 c vector <coughs> cross hmm, x3 a vector plus y3 b vector plus j3 c vector okay and this is nothing but a cross a is 0 so go to the a cross b and the b cross a which is x2 y3 and b cross a is nothing but minus of a cross b so this is minus y2 x3 that into a cross b okay we know that the a cross b is c vector then the determinant process will be followed but here we don't, don't know the value of a cross b as the c vector that's why <coughs> that's not matches to the determinant process so a cross c a cross c is a cross c or you can c cross a so a c cross a is uh, two term um, c cross a z3 uh, i want to find the a cross b uh, b cross c term b cross you know, b and c y2 z3 y2 z3 and c b that's mean y3 z2 that is b cross c simple and after that uh, c cross a c cross a that's mean z3 x3 minus x3 sorry z3 x3 uh, c a c a z3 x3 and a c a c uh, z3 this is z3 this is z2 z2 x3 minus x to z3 that into c cross a vector okay <coughs> so this is uh, why uh, why uh, what should we get and now a dot b cross c just a dot b cross c you can say that if uh, a dot a this will be zero a dot b dot c is uh, happen and a dot c cross also be zero because in the box border if two uh, parameter is same then this will be zero in the previous lecture you can see this property so the a vector that mean a vector is multiplied with this vector so this can be written as x1 
y2 z3 minus y3 z2 that into a dot b cross c simple in case of b the b is where the b is this is 0 this is 0 this will be happened so this can be written as y2 z2 x3 minus x2 z3 b dot c cross a this is nothing but a dot b cross c okay simple and this one uh, c this is c is also here there is no c this is happen but these two are zero so z1 uh, this is one this is z1 um, z1 z2 x3 minus x2 z3 that into c dot a cross b <coughs> so this is nothing but a dot b cross c those so this three term can be uh, written in the determined form x1 y1 z1 x2 y2 z2 x3 y3 z3 and this is the common a dot b cross c or the common okay simple this is next question <coughs> prove that a cross b cross c is zero and is necessary and sufficient condition for that okay a cross b cross c equal to a cross b cross sorry that into cross c okay and this is can be written as the a cross b cross c minus c cross a cross b so this is back cap you know the back cap rules b a c minus c a b back cap equal to back b means here a b a b a a means c b a c b a c c means b back minus cap this is plus cap c c means b c a means c dot a in this equation you can see this is there this is the same these are cancel out and this in the left hand side can be written as the a dot c dot b that is b dot c is the same minus c dot a dot b so this is back cap this is can be written as also a cross b cross c back cap this is also again will as the zero and if you rotate this uh, c cross a cross b is zero and if you as again rotate b cross c cross a is c cross a is zero and if you change into c cross a cross b this is minus zero this is also zero and a cross c that into cross the two minus cancel out okay this is also zero simple now if uh, a dot b is zero if a dot b is zero from here you can see a dot b is zero that means a vector uh, dot a vector dot this is not dot a vector just multiply b dot c is zero so you can say either either a vector is zero or or b dot c is zero simply similarly if b dot c is zero b dot c is zero then we can say b dot c is zero either c is zero or a b is zero either either c vector is zero or a dot b is zero okay this is the solution of this question next uh, let p q r f the <coughs> position vector r1 r2 r3 relative to the origin the distance from p to the plane o q r this is the plane o q and this is the r o q means r2 o r means r3 okay so uh, if you 
multiply between OQ and OR, you get the perpendicular to this plane. Plane consists of the OQ R. So the perpendicular to plane OQR <coughs> direction. Perpendicular direction of OQR is nothing but the N cap can be written as R2 cross R3 by R2 cross R3 mod simple so you can find out r2 cross r3 mod and the uh, cross product r2 is i cap j cap k cap this is 3 minus 2 minus 1 and no 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 r2 r2 means r2 means r2 means 1 3 4 and this is 2 1 minus 2 clear and if you product this 2 will be get minus 10 i cap minus 10 i cap plus 10 j cap minus 5 k cap. so you can take the common minus 5 this will be 2 i cap minus 2 j cap 2 i cap minus 2 j cap plus k cap by if the get the module uh, uh, magnitude this is nothing but 5 and root under 2 square 4 2 square 4 plus 1 that is 3 so this will be one third minus one third i cap minus j cap plus k cap two i cap minus two j cap plus k cap is the unit vector of this plane so the distance distance you know the unit vector and p here something p is like that so you got this unit vector and if you dot with this unit vector with the uh, op vector this is the op vector this op vector uh, if we multiply the unit vector with this vector that's op vector that is p vector or op vector op o is the origin op vector dot n cap is the distance so op vector is the 3 i cap minus 2 j cap minus k cap dot n cap that is the minus one third are common n cap is 2 i cap minus 2 j cap plus k cap just put the value you get the distance minus 3 and <coughs> just a distance just omit the minus negative sign you get the distance 3 unit clear next find the shortage distance from that point to the line joining this to that so this is the point 2 1 2 and this is the point 3 minus 1 4 okay this is the line joining you get this vector this vector take as a so a vector is nothing but 3 minus 1 4 minus 2 1 2 this is nothing but the i cap minus 2 j cap plus 2 k cap simple and if you get this is 0.6 minus 4 4 so this vector is nothing but the v vector so v vector is nothing but 2 1 2 minus 6 minus 4 4 this is nothing but 4 i cap minus 5 j cap plus 2 k cap so what is the distance between these two this is d this is nothing but b cos theta if this angle is theta then this distance will be d equal to b cos theta so this will be written as cos theta is equal to a dot b by a b so this is nothing but a dot b by a so if you find the a dot b this will be 4 plus 10 plus 4 and magnitude of a is 1 through square to square 3 which is 3 so this is nothing but 6 6 is the answer of question number a similarly from v you can find out the a vector so in, in the same manner you can find out a vector is 10 i cap plus 24 j cap similarly b vector is getting the minus 12 i cap plus 5 j cap so distance is b cos theta and b cos theta means a dot b by a so this will be um, minus 20 plus 120 by root under 10 square plus 24 square uh, this will be zero that's mean this point consists in, in within the line this point this point this point lies in on the line 
uh, of these two joining point right this question says that uh, consider point p q and r s the shortest distance between the shortest distance between the <coughs> p q and r s so this is p this is q the coordinate p is 2 1 3 and q is 1 2 1 and there is another problem r s r is 1 this will be minus 2 this will be minus 2 minus 2 and s is 1 minus 4 0 okay so you can get the pq vector that is nothing but q minus p this is minus i cap plus j cap minus 2 k cap similarly rs vector is nothing but s minus r this is the 2i cap minus 2j cap plus 2 k cap now if you find the cross product then we will the perpendicular uh, both these two vector perpendicular to both these two vector so pq cross rs this is nothing but perpendicular for both the pq and rs so i j k and this is minus 1 1 minus 2 2 minus 2 2 just do this cross product you will be minus 2 i cap minus 2 j cap now the magnitude of this vector magnitude of this cross product is nothing but root under 2 square plus 2 square which is 2 root 2 so the rp which will be uh, rp vector now you get the rp vector this is nothing but the p minus r which is 3 i cap plus 3 j cap plus 5 k cap okay then the shortage distance this will be the shortage distance this is rp vector so d will be nothing but rp dot this unit vector perpendicular to this so pq cross rs by pq cross rs modulus so this is the value of 3 i cap plus 3 j cap plus 5 k cap dot pq and rs is minus 2 i cap minus 2 j cap and magnitude is nothing but 2 root 2 just calculate this you will be get 3 root 2 of this answer and just neglect the negative sign just neglect the negative sign because the distance can be not be negative okay thank you this is all about me and this is my contact details you can contact with me by whatsapp or telegram channel regarding the physics any type of physics question and this is my youtube channel details you must share this video to your friend who needs to this type of video and subscribe this channel if you're new in this channel and press the bell icon to get the notification of the next video thank you we will meet in the next video as soon as possible take care